So what is up guys, welcome back to another slide light video. So in this video, this is my laptop or PC optimization guide for 2021. So you can do this either with a PC or a laptop because this is just settings that applies to Windows. The first thing you're going to want to do is go on your Windows start button and then search up game bar. So, um, this is the settings for Xbox Game Bar. So you want to disable all this bullshit. So, uh, so you want to disable it here. Enable enable Xbox Game Bar as you just as you seen. So you press off on that, and you don't want to touch near it because it's it's not even optimized yet for any form of Windows. But after you search up game bar, it should uh, put you in gaming, right? So you want to go on game mode. And this is actually, now this is a tricky one. Because if you have the newest version of Windows, then this uh, this game mode is actually good. And you should use it. So you just turn it on. I have the newest version of Windows. If your Windows is uh, on a previous version, not the newest, you should keep it off. But if you have the newest version and you just updated it, you want to press that on. And this next step is for NVIDIA users, so you want to go on NVIDIA control panel. I'm sure most of you guys have done this, if if not, yeah, well, you're missing out. So you want to go on manage 3D settings, which is, oh wait, so which is right there. And then you want to go to power management mode, of course, double click it. Uh, make sure it has prefer maximum performance on, and then texturing fil texture filtering quality on high performance yeah that's that has to be on on basically uh that's it low latency mode um if you're already running valorant and you already have nvidia reflex which with boost plus on you don't need this uh low latency mode because it's already there it's already in valorant in, in the form of nvidia reflex so we can skip that if you already have that and then what what you're gonna do next is i'm gonna have it linked down below because it's just gonna make things easier and i'm not I'm not telling you to use the service, I'm just telling you to use the app for the service. So this app comes with a 3 day trial, it's called Exit Lag. It's, perf it's mainly a VPN for lowering your ping and stuff, but it has a really good feature called FPS Boost. It just minimizes the work that you must do, like people would uh, sometimes go on a reg edit or a registry editor on Windows and do this manually. Uh, you can do that, but it just takes a while and you have a free method, why not just use it? So. You don't exit like i'm gonna have it linked at the very bottom of the description box because i'm not sponsored by them Fuck. it's not a paid link it's it's not an affiliate link at all it's just the exit like link itself so you want to go on tools and you want to go on fps boost so this is what i mainly um use so of course we already disabled game bar and game dvr you can also you can also dis disable it just from here so this app is really great even though if you don't want to use it for vpn uh, if you, if you don't want to, if you want to use it, it's fine. But I'm not using it for any VPN services because my ping is fine. So I would disable energy efficient Ethernet if you're using an Ethernet port. If you're using a wireless connection, this doesn't really affect you that much. Uh, I would disable game bar and game DVR, of course. I would disable core parking. Um, if you're not running an SSD, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend you to disable this. But if you're already running an SSD, which means you already have a pretty fast storage solution so you you can turn this on and then you can turn this on you can turn i wouldn't uh suggest turning this on because it disables your main antivirus and i wouldn't uh this i wouldn't uh, enable this too because it has i said like sets its own values and i don't think they know uh, which values are better uh than the microsoft itself so i wouldn't search that i wouldn't um turn that on uh, if you're in a ga long gaming session, I would suggest turning this on Windows search because you're not searching up files and shit while you're gaming, right? And then you can just turn it back on, back off once you're done gaming. So yeah, this is the most simple method I've laid it out for you guys. You can just literally download Exit Lag. It's already just there for you. You can just enable everything. If you really want performance, you can just enable everything there. And then from the NVIDIA control panel, it's just there. And then uh, when you're in Valorant, you can just uh, reflex, NVIDIA reflex, uh, you can turn that on and well, and or boost. If, you, if your GPU is good enough, you can turn that on and boost. So yeah, this is a really, really short video compared to 
the other videos out there on YouTube, which like takes like fucking 20 minutes to do the registry edit by itself and all that. This just it's just so much faster right so yeah that's all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for 1000 subscribers see you guys in the next video Bye bye